Hello everyone, welcome back to the CJ Game World, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Moon. Now, I have something to explain. I had a little break last night. And of course, during that break, I said, you know what, I gotta catch a new Piter. And so I did. I leveled up to a point where it will evolve Soon after this video really starts. And of course, I got another ally during training. Which I thought, you know, would pretty much be perfect for this entire island. For what's left, anyway. Say hello to Spartan the Marsh Tom. I actually have memories with this one. Yeah. I may need to explain a bit. Spurton and I actually did the little Nuzlocke together. On the spare Omega Ruby I had earlier. Which I don't have now. I chose Mokia because I heard it was the best choice. And of course then I just started a Nuzlocke. A normal Nuzlocke. And it was happening during that Pokemon Sword playthrough. So yeah. So, about that Nuzlocke, I don't remember a lot about it, but I do remember some of the important parts. Let me explain how that Nuzlocke went. Basically, the real challenge came up till before the Electric Gem, because at that point, there wasn't really much of any challenge, because, really, I was using the best starter for the region. I didn't want to make any mistakes with Torchic. But. <clears throat> you know how the rival in Hoenn chooses the starter that's stronger against yours, right? She had a Grovel by that time. Well, guess what? Disaster struck and Grovel took out my Marsh Tomp. Because I was acting overconfident. So, yeah. That made me lose my Marsh Chomp. Made me feel feelings I did not want to feel. Depression. Guilt. Or whatever it is. I just felt like giving up on it thing and just starting over with my guilt. I just wanted a new run. But of course, disaster did not end there. Of course, I was able to take care of the electric trial, but when it came to m the point of facing Maxi, oh my, he wiped out half of the team. And of course, between that moment and the and Spartan's death, there was actually a little Pokemon that I found was the best ally to help out, the best partner. Nuzoke the Nuzleaf. Yeah, I called it Nuzoke because of well, being really, its name is related to the Nuzlocke name. Of course, I just want to be a little clever. But of course, Nuzlocke got killed in that half a team sweep. All thanks to Maxi being difficult. And I really don't feel like training too long. I don't like the grinding process. And of course... I was really about to just give up on this Nuzlocke thing because it seemed impossible. But I found a little rule on the internet that said, wait, that basically told me that I could revive my starter, but only once. But of course, I probably already lost before this moment, so of course, eh, I was just doing about anything. 
I didn't think about at the time. And of course, with Marsh Trump back on the side, Spare Tail's L2. Wipe out the entire fire type gym. And of course, when we got the flying type gym, he was already evolved. And he had his Mega. And he knew Rock Slide. <laughs> so, of course, disaster struck for them instead. But then it struck for us again. I was trying to go and heal my Pokemon as fast as possible, since they took a lot of damage. I didn't want to lose anyone. I didn't think that, that there was a nurse, that Nurse Joy was down near the docks to Mount Pier. Instead, I decided to make a run for the PC and the Safari Zone because the PC can actually help you heal your Pokemon in that game. Just drop the Pokemon off, and then they're all fine. And then you can just put them on the back on team like there's no big deal. But of course, there wasn't a big, um, there was a big gap between the last town and the Safari Zone, and of course. I run into a double battle, which ends up having most of my team wiped off. Even the Lyos. Oh, no, wait. That, it's Lyos in that game. And of course, you want to know who I was left with? Spurton. The Swampert. But in that fair range, Swampert totally decimated everyone inside Mount Pier. But when we had to make that long trip back to Slateport, we couldn't make it. Swampert gets defeated by one of the trainers on the way back. Do the amounts, the big amount of hits that I had to endure. And of course, since I didn't feel like grinding, the team I put together, well, it was enough for the team anyway. They wouldn't be able to stand. And so when Swampart fell, I knew I have lost. So yeah, me and Spurton have quite a few memories together. But of course now, it's, there's no more Nuzlocke rules. So we don't have to worry about Spurton going down. You hear that, buddy? Let's go! And of course, we're going towards... The battle that I find is the hardest one. The battle of Lala Volcano. The Totem Bell. Totem Marowak. But while we're on our way, let's train up a bit. Alright Spartan, let's rock! Alright, this is a I mean just start ghost, not rock type. Oh well. So that was something. Alright, it's time you take a mud slap to the face. Hmm. You know I actually do like Sabla. It's creepy, but in a good way. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring out Nelushi. Our wishy washy. I trained up to level 20. Or 22. About to be 23. And now we can activate schooling ability. Which. I don't know if this is very true, but. From what I know. On the original Sun Moon, you actually face a totem wishy-washy that looks like this beast right here. And it was about to appear on this game too, until that 
Araquidae came and took its place. Alright, but now... Wishiwashi, use brine! <laughs> That's how we do it. Good. <laughs> you're going, you're growing rapidly. That's wonderful. Okay, that's gotta go downwards. What the? What are you doing? Oh, you're a trainer. When I have Pokemon Belt, it's easier to fix my truck. You're fixing your truck. Well, maybe you don't need a distraction. Oh, it's a little pop. Oh, you're weak. Spartan! Alright. Let's use War Gun! Spray them down! What the? Huh. And press a little puppy you got there. Wargon! Hm. Manny, man. Oh, wait a minute. Spartan the ground's up! So you really shouldn't be affected by those electric moves. Which is actually going to be super useful for later on. And with three war types, I don't think I should be too worried about that, well, a volcano challenge. Because last time I only had, only had one war type that was mixed with the blood typing, but now I have a water ground, pure water type, and a water bug. All on my side. Alright, thick mud's up. Nah. If you keep on throwing those magnet bonds, they must be the only thing you can do. Mud slap! <laughs> I would have won if I didn't lose. Dude, that doesn't make sense. One bit. Let's see how... Wait. Oh, I thought... I thought to do a pair of falls out level 20. Hmm. Maybe I misread something. Well, I mean, Kalina is gonna be very close. Hey, Sudo! Sinner! Sinner! Oh, do Sudo are fascinating Pokemon as well? Worthy of being a research topic all on their own. The way they mimic plants in order to avoid water. How very interesting. Just as our research suggests, this, Captain Fico. Indeed, we must gather data about Pokemon if we want to win Pokemon battles. After all, Alul. That being said, there's no need for us to use these odd Alulian Pokemon. Solaria, if you'd be so kind, trainer. Can I ask you to face me a Pokemon bell? Oh, sure thing. <laughs> I want mine. Then I'll face you with my poi pole. Uh oh. With the poi pole? I actually really like that thing's evolution, but after realizing that it may be very difficult to even reach it, I don't think maybe I'll be able to even use it. 
It's kind of a shame. I really, really like Naga Nail's design. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. You going for more defense? Well, then take a war gun to the face! I'm sorry you won't be able to take a mud slap since you're poison top. Mud slap! Oh! You were able to take that just fine. Huh. Impressive. Can you stop spinning that poison at me? Well, that'll just spit water at you. Revert that poison right back into your face. Oh, that's how hard time to do it, right? You ready to spin out more Val Shark? I'm just gonna convert that back into water and just gonna spray it back at your face. Stop spitting out poison! <laughs> okay, this thing's being a little relentless. Fire! Alright, Nelushi, come on out. Help me take care of the poi pole. Alicia schooling. Now there's tons of them. Oh no. You can take it, right, Nelushi? Alright, let's convert that poison right back into water and spit right back at them. Since you're at half health, it did more damage. So, yeah. I win. This will be usually a bad challenge. But now, I was easier. Hmm. Yeah. You know, we haven't used Litneon for a while. It's not Poipole that failed in this bell. As I, as a trainer, who have failed. <laughs> Grub and Folly evolves! Into a second form! Alright. It's time for him to cocoon himself and get ready for the cooler evolution. That happens later. Say hello to Charger Bug! And prepare for me to just start throwing this guy at the enemy so I can shot them! <laughs> well, I don't mean the other fine trainers, I mean the bad guys. Team Skull? Rare Gal Charger Bug all charged up as Barry is. And just chuck him at the enemy so I can electrocute them. Anyway, time for his book attack entry. Charger Bug! The battery Pokemon, Buga Electric Tap. Its stout shell provides excellent defense for attacks. Uses electricity on persistent opponents. And since this is the battery, it wants to learn charge, but... No, oh, thank you. I charge my devices, but I do not charge you. Thank you very much. I was able to understand Poipole better, but it seems my Pokemon battle skills leave much to be desired. That Z powering of yours. The light feels somehow nostalgic. Do you think it's the same light our ancestors skates upon? The light said to have come from the blinding one? Who can tell? Yet there's our duty as the Ultra Recall Squad to find that out. Huh? Oh, I could take photos of that's about anywhere, huh?
Let's go with the advanced mode. You know, I would be taking a picture of Big Chia, but I don't have him on the team at the moment. You know what? No. Let's not worry about that at the moment. Eh? Oh, hey there, Mudsail! <laughs> cool looking Pokemon. I can't get in touch with this little horse thing. Or big horse thing. Because I just like calling it a pawn now. You dare, trainer! Can you come to my aid? Over here! Yo, yo, yo! Don't go turn your backside on us! And you! You're the old school tram from Mel and Melly, yo! These, these scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on familiar terms with them? Oh, yeah, I know them. There are a bunch of jerks who just won't stop jerking their way into everyone's business. Yeah, that's right, you do! I'm Hapu. Life on Big City sure is something. Pokemon thieves from about brazenly. I leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo! It's a legitimate business. We got straight mess up, merely me. Got a exile to a color. But we ain't going out like that! Oh! Alright, Team Skull, it's time we shut your gap. Oh, wait, I forgot to put Torka in front. Oh, well. I could just swap it out. Sorry, Spurn. It's not your time right now. Alright, now let's swap out for... The real champion, Le Leon! <laughs> Alright, let's bite this thing. We don't even need to really use the power. See? Too easy. Not very much of a challenge, now is it? <laughs> I like a taste of that, Team Skull. With all these losses, we're going to anger our bosses! These hurts take like salt, yo. It's all your fault, yo. <laughs> Marcel, shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess clean up after, wait. Don't for us, Mickey, yo! God damn it, bitch, yo! <laughs> I'm not gonna keep on telling you this, except when I keep on telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says and try to take score of yours. Seriously, you better not forget no score. Ah! You'll be fine getting home. I'm glad to see that Drifton will get home on her own. You got to think for it. I got you to think for that. Give me your name, Trainer. Red Track, eh? That's my name. I like the way you handle yourself in battle. Master and I are always wondering, wondering 
all about a lot of trying to achieve our goals, so perhaps hold me again someday. I'm indebted to you for your aid, after all. Much to you! Ah, uh, yes. You might want to try hand out a bow royale or two, Retrek. Myself here thinks you'll be well suited to it, given how strong you are. Do you also mean how much I like to battle? Alright, it's time. Let's really swap it out. Hmm. Royal Avenue. Wait, is that a champ? Hmm. Kind of sucks that some Pokemon are just trade evolution. I'm gonna keep on bringing that up because it really does suck. And some of us can't get those trade evolutions. It's good thing they allowed some of them to be caught in later games. Hmm. Why do I do this? Every time something brings me down, I end up coming right back here again. Come on, no. We'll beat everyone's death before us. We're gonna be strong enough to protect them this time. Hello, Gladion. And hello! Wait, what is it called again? Glad you can make it! Uh oh. Hey there. I'm here today, yeah! To spread the word, oh yeah! About Battle Royale! They call me the Mask Royale! Woo! Professor? The Mask Royale! I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed on in Alola for generations. The Pokemon Battle Royale! Woo! What Royale? What's the Battle Royale you mean? I ask. Four trainers! Four trainers, yeah! Each pick three Pokemon, yeah! And what be Battle about? Oh yeah! My one trainer is sink at Battle anymore. Yeah, the Bowery Islands! The Jerry Trainer has taken out the most Pokemon, yeah! It has the most Pokemon left for a major winner. Woo! Hmm. I'm sorry to take you on. Let's just give it a shot. Pink Pokemon, let's do this. Dude, it's Max Royale! I want battle! I want battle! Oh, you're here too, Hal. Gladion. You there! Come join on the fun. I'll be in the mix too, yeah! And now we have our foursome. Woo! What? Gladion too? Discovering new experiences and adventure is all yours if you want it. Time for Pokemon Battle Royale! Ready? Fight! Hey, let's see who they got. I'll bring in my study. Let me on! <clears throat> and there comes who Shadow Horde! And here comes Rock Ruff. Type Null! Pretty cool, pretty cool. Seems like that rock rough will not be lasting for too long. Alright. How about I take you out the rock rough first? Alright, no, wait a minute. Hmm. Aha! Of course, he will just protect it. I'm not aiming for you. I'm aiming for Gladion. Take out his type null. Alright, Lady Leon. Prepare for the Z power of all our pummeling. Let's have to repeat like it calls, okay? Take that. 
and what the f- I'll kick to the face. <laughs> it took a lot of damage. Good job, Max Royale. What? Hmm. Okay, Dartrix. I'm sorry who shall hurt, but you must go. Huh. Everyone's just on to who shall hurt right now. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't know. And the battle's over. So what do you think? It's easy to have a fun time with Battle Royale. Woo! You even have a shot being real tough punch this way. Yeah! You're on fire! You were on fire during that battle. I hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial. The name's Kayawe. The fire captain. I... You can get to our volcano part on Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see your Alan's challenge through to the end, climb to the top of your strongest team. So, Ritrek, how? How are your trials going? I hope you and your bugger are working hard to have a bit of blast. Woo! But, Mr. Mass Royale? I don't even know what you're doing, your child. Oh, I get it because of our amulets, huh? Well, I'm having a blast. But why are you here? Why would you even want to do a battle royale? He's still trying to get stronger or something? Or maybe he just want to make some friends. <laughs> I'm not here to play. I'm here because you can't protect anything when you're weak. Well, you're just a ray of sunshine, eh? I think you have a lot more fun if you just let yourself have a good time with everybody else. You could do a lot more together, too. Well, I don't know what his deal is, but I thought the battle was just plain fun. And that's why I'm going to keep doing battle royales in my Pokemon like them, too. Are right, your Pokemon like them, how? But now it's time for us to continue with our island challenge. I don't know if the, this next one will be any type of difficulty. Or even the one after this, because, well, maybe it will be a little. But, I got half a team of war types on my team right now. Hmm. And my little spider didn't evolve yet. Oh wait, I should possibly get some healing stuff. Wait, what's over here? Ah, technical machine. And it's useless. I'll just grab 30 of these great balls. And 20 super potions. And only a single revive. Oh well, I got 10. I barely even use them. Hmm. Those like Sawakel ain't really evolving just yet. That's very strange. I thought I evolved at level 20. That's a bug type. Hey, there should be sticker. Aha! Yes! I'm not doing a good job collecting stickers, am I? Oh, 
Hey, that's a magmar. The fire taps are all mine! Well, maybe not this one. But, it'll be the perfect training. Alright. Bubble Beam! Oh my. Fire. There we go. Level 21. We're doing some good. Hmm. You know what? Let's replace infestation with bites. So I can chomp down those opponents. Hard. With the dart type move. Instead of spraying the infection. Okay. He's not evolving yet. Huh. It's Cubone! And this game he turns into a fire ghost type, which is gonna be our challenge soon. But I don't know if this will be an auto kill of him, since he's ground sap. Fire! Yeah, it's insta kill. Of course. I wouldn't really have a need for him. Since there is plenty of hard good fire types, including one of my f one of my favorite birds. Now so Wake All doesn't evolve before the totem, well then it's gonna be stuck like this. Fire! Let's move on a bit. I hear flexlings. And yet there's so many cube bones. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, there are a lot of dancing Marowax at the top, so yeah, I guess there could be a lot of Cubones. Marowax probably just leaving their child down there, thinking they'd be safe in the heat. Okay, how long is it going to take for Swickle to evolve? It's a slanted. But is it a male? Or is it female? Yeah, so I'll show the picture of slanted right here. And it's a male. Oh well. What's this going? Oh my, this guy is Dragon Rage! <clears throat> I did not expect Solander to have Dragon Rage. Are you athlete or schooling, Washi Washi? Brine! Ooh, yes, that's some good damage right there. Oh yes, yes. Good, we got another rock type move. <laughs> rock tomb. Let me just see up my Pokemon real quick.
Oh, oh, it's a hub potion. Okay, it's a note, so I'll end it. Is it a female? If it's not, then it's not important. No, it's a male. The thing about these landits is they'll only evolve if they're female. Like a few others. You know what? I'm not gonna risk you, Sewickle. Let's jump over to Spurden. Okay, it's just doing an ember. <clears throat> Alright, just grab some blood, and... Now... We... Slap in his face! <laughs> Make him feel... The... Hey, what? What are they feeling? Ugh. It's fletchling around here. I want the fletchling! Yes, a fledgling! Here, take a great ball. Ready? Go! Come on, 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 Remember me, Fletchling, don't you? This is actually one of my favorite birds, probably due to the nostalgia I have with Pokemon Y. I just love it. It's evolution line, too. Alright, let's take a look at Pokedex entry. Fletchling! A tiny robin Pokemon. Normal flying type, like always. Its body is always warm. Trainers who live in cold areas apparently sleep with it in their bed. Are you serious? Well, anyway, are you a male or a female? Male. Well, then you're getting Score Rico. There's only one, Scorlina. Is that the party? Sorry, Kalinug, but you're super weak here, so... Don't worry, you'll be back soon. Hey, face me. Face me! Oh my god, it's a Draco! Show me your Pokemon! Let me see the sights! Hmm. A sightseer Mariah? Marie. Hmm. And she has normal meow. Alright, so Michael, let's go. You know what? Sorry, girl, but it's gonna happen. Okay, that's something to my ears. Now! Only she weighs from the soul within. Who knows how tides will turn? Now! To Pida! Unleash! The Z Power! Hydro Vortex! Unleash the waves! Fuck! Yes! Yes! Oh wait, you guys probably never saw the water type Z move before. Oh, that's your free example right there. Okay, do you evolve yet, yeah, so Wickle? Yes! Finally! You evolve! Now! 
into a much more powerful form. A rock grenade. And though you're water bug, you're still pretty strong. And I love you for taking care of that fire trial the last time with one shot. Yeah, he practically O-code the fire trial. As he was able to deal enough damage that practically killed the guy. Alright. I requinted the water bubble Pokemon. Water bud type, like his previous one. It has a habit of throwing things it values in its water bubble. If the trainer doesn't watch out, Rakuenid will try to put them in its bubble. Alright, now that our Pokemon have fully up Now that our bug has fully evolved, you're practically ready for what comes next. Go, Sobekel! You're pretty big! Huh. Alright, unleash Bubble Beam. Fire. And now, the Tone Pokemon is a, it's the Ghost and Fire type. But I don't think we'll have much trouble. Coin sense, we got Spurt and the Marsh Stomp our side. Who could be able to take care of both this trial and the eventual Rot Type Grand trial? Because it's Water Ground. Both of those things beat Rock. And both of these things also beat Fire. Let's go. Good job making it this high. Why don't we heal your Pokemon for you? If you're going to try a hand at a fire trial, you should at least have some Pokemon that could use water, ground, or rock type moves. Oh, don't worry, I have plenty. Now we got Sawickle. I should. Ch we got Sawickle. Spurting. Nalushe. Rock, rock, well, we're Hargo. Lillion, which is kind of the same typing, but it'll still be useful. And we got Scorico, who... I'm just going to keep around just for the levels. I just like my fledglings. Kayawe. I own Kayawe. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in the Lula for generations. The Trial Kawaii! You'll find it that is a bit different than the trials you face up to this point. But, uh, of course, well, you will attempt it, right? Yeah! Let's go! My trial will test your process of observation. There'll be a dance. And then another. Your test will be a fine difference between the two. Begin! Now pay attention, everyone. I'll see if you can figure out, too. <gasps> oh, that. That's actually pretty cool poses for Marowak. Okay, the mill one changed. I can already tell. That mill Marowak changed from having its bone behind it to in front of it. Here comes the Marowak. Marowak! Alright, so Wickle. Sammy you showed your power. Don't worry, so I call. You'll bow plenty well. There goes fire types. They shouldn't be much trouble for you. Since you're water or bug. Heh. Hmm. 
Mirama was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to bow you. Over to the second dance! Okay, why are you in the picture, dude? You're ruining the scene. Okay, so do you gonna appear or not? Okay! Did you all tell what was different? I think it's how they smile. Oh, Lola! That big old quake for no reason? Okay. Yeah, this guy also holds a fire type. And apparently they like to bomb... To bomb... What is it called? Photobomb? Or something? Photobomb into these pictures? Oh, anyway. And it n nails some damage. Bubble beam. And the magmar is defeated. Good job, Sawickle. No, 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 no. You're a fool if you dance. And not a fool if you just look on. Oh! Fletchling's evolving, huh? Scorico! Evolve into the superior evolution of the Fletchling line! I'm not the only one who likes it, right? This form of Fletchling looks cool. And I'm really not the only one who thinks that. Am I right? Or am I wrong? I like it. Looks like a good evolution. Alright. Fletchendo! The Ember Pokemon. Fire flying type. Good typing right there. It's speed right after takeoff. Already puts it in the top speed class of all bird Pokemon. So it's one of the fastest ones alive, huh? Oh yeah, you can learn Ember. Who said you couldn't? <laughs> Why do you flail? Let's get rid of that flail and replace it with a good old burnage of Ember. Besides, Ember is better than no fire move at all. <laughs> the best start. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer, he's. I simply had bell you. Over to the fall dance. Okay, the hiker bombarded it again. Wait. It looks like Marowak's the one taking the picture now. Okay, that's a big Marowak right there. A totem Pokemon. But, but how? That's uh, truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come, total Pokemon! Walk, walk, walk! Alright. Here we are. Totem Marowak! It used to be a Totem Salazzle, but now it's a Marowak. And the light has changed. It's adding one, one of the bear looking fire types, but. It's removed a uh, unique fire type from the region. From the battle. But hey, it's still around. Don't you worry. Alright, I got three water types, so I'm not worrying if one of them goes down. Ha! 
Did I not use my Zima right away? And he's called his ally Pokemon. A oh, Salazzle. <laughs> That's the evolution of the females. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's just deal with the Marowak. And we get some poison gas inflicted. Oh well. We also get hit by flam wheel. Bubble beam. Good, 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 good. All right, M Marowak. Oh, he's doing. His, he's doing to detect. Huh. Hmm. Okay, it's a good thing that Sawickle wasn't my only war type. Nelushi! Come on out! My little guppy. Now, want to get the big, ferocious guppy! Alright, let's do it. Water gun! I was using poison gas on my big old wishy washy friend. Now, Hoshi, you okay? Ow. I need to rot, dude. I'm water! And the Marowak is down! Mow, Marowak. Great job, Now, <laughs> I didn't even need a marsh charm. Marsh tomp. And now they have the Solazel. Oh my. Bleh. Great job, Nalushi. And the Rock wanted. Great job, you two. You try Erval to take down the fire trial. Thank you. My mighty Nalushi. I knew that you and Rock would never be the key. And Spurton just had to take a back seat for this one. Whoa! Spectacular! With your keen observations, you're able to see even find differences in our dances. And you to be a tone Pokemon with such ease. Hm. Tone Pokemon protected as Fire Yum Z. Now it is yours. Now I am the being that brings out the inner fire! Fire, Yumzi! I am the true fire type trainer. This is how you use the fire type Z pelt. <laughs> Good. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these. Oh, great. I already made a few down there. What's more, you may now use variety Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength, and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. <laughs> the fire on Z. You should show it to a trial guy outside the cat's burger at the bottom of the mountain. It's time for us to return to our dance. Bring out the Alolan po people on our Pokemon and the true power, true nature of Z power. Dancers lie in our dance, so we must dance on. Alright, and that'll be the end of today's episode. Yeah, it's actually pretty short. Or I think it was. But anyway, I'll see you next time. I'll be taking on that grass trial next, and you already know they're gonna get burned. So, I'll see you then.
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.